Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Hello, and welcome to the knowledge sharing session about changes from fourth edition to fifth edition in the project management body of knowledge guide, also known as Pimbok Guide. In this session, Simply Learn would like to highlight the changes in Pimbok Guide in fifth edition to create awareness among PMP aspirants and project management professionals. Here are the highlights of those changes as per the fifth edition. Rules for handling inputs, tools and techniques and outputs are established to support consistency. For example, the output of a process will be an input for another process and vice versa. Each knowledge area comes out with a plan which we call it as a subsidiary plan and these plans will be integrated in project management plan. To have the consistency in handling project management work execution in data and information flow, DIKW model, that is, data, information, knowledge and wisdom concept from knowledge management has been introduced. The relationship between project, program and portfolio has been elaborated. Project management and operations management has been expanded to get clarity. The importance of interpersonal skills of a project manager has also been added. And finally, I am sure that the most important point you are looking for is about knowledge area and processes. Well, let me tell you that in the fifth edition, one knowledge area and five processes have been added. So, the fifth edition carries 10 knowledge areas and 47 pro need to impart the changes that are present in the knowledge area and processes. Let us see more about knowledge area and processes in the coming slides. This is about the comparison of knowledge areas between 4th edition and the 5th edition. All the 9 knowledge areas of 4th edition remain intact. As we said earlier, the new knowledge area which has been added in the 5th edition is Project Stakeholders Management. Basically, the Project Communications Management has been split into two separate knowledge areas. One is retained as Project Communications Management and the second named as Project Stakeholders Management. As we had informed earlier, apart from this, five processes have also been added, which will be discussed in the next slide. Please have a look into the table which shows the different changes with respect to the processes under 5th edition of PIMBOK Guide. There are additional movement and name modification of processes to have the consistency. The additional processes are Plan Scope Management in the Project Scope Management plan schedule management in the project time management, plan cost management in the project cost management, plan stakeholder management and control stakeholder engagement under project stakeholder management knowledge area. These are highlighted in blue. The processes like identify stakeholders and manage stakeholders expectations have been moved from project communications management to project stakeholder management and manage stakeholders expectations have been renamed as manage stakeholders engagement. These are shown with red arrows. And finally, the process names are modified to maintain consistencies which are highlighted in yellow. In the next slide, take a look at how the processes are embedded between the knowledge area and the process group. Yes, this table is about all the processes, knowledge areas and the process groups known as project management process group and knowledge area mapping. With these changes 
one may have a doubt that, in the exam, when will the changes based on the fifth edition be effective? We will clarify this doubt in the next slide along with a summary of all the changes. Here is a summary of the changes which are there in the fifth edition, namely Direct and Manage Project Execution, changed to Direct and Manage Project Work, addition of Plan Scope Management Process, Verify Scope, changed to Validate Scope, addition of Plan Schedule Management, addition of Plan Cost Management, Plan Quality, changed to Plan Quality Management. Perform Quality Control, change to Control Quality. Develop Human Resource Plan, change to Plan Human Resource Management. Monitor and Control Risks, change to Control Risks. Plan Procurement, change to Plan Procurement Management. Administer Procurement, change to Control Procurement. Addition of Plan Stakeholder Management. Manage Stakeholder Expectations. Change to Manage Stakeholder Engagement. Addition of Control Stakeholders Engagement. Work Performance Measurement. Change to Work Performance Data. Positive Risks. Change to Opportunity. The PMP examination based on the fifth edition will be effective from July the 31st, 2013 onwards. Until then, the PMP examination will be based on the fourth edition. For more details about all the changes, please click on the link provided. What next? The aspirants who wish to appear for the PMP certification under fourth edition Hurry and contact Simply Learn. With this, we have come to the end of the small session about changes from 4th edition to 5th edition in the Project Management Body of Knowledge Guide. Thank you for participating. For more information, please contact support at simplylearn.com or log on to www.simplylearn.com. Thank you and all the best.